Rod, how's it going, man? Connor Holt here at the Wilson Motor. I just want to put a face to the name so you know who you've been talking to the past couple days about this NV200 here behind me. Um, excuse the fact that it is dirty. Uh, our power washer broke last week. We got a new one, and now the garage is broken to be able to get in there. And so I can't get it washed at the moment. But I will get it washed for you when you're ready to get it purchased. Anyways, let me flip this around. Let's get to this, do a little walk around. So <clears throat> here off the bat, so you can see, um, up here on the front, it does have a little bit of these paint chips and I can have our touch up guy look at this and get those painted off. The Nissan paint is just super soft, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, you're gonna have halogen lights though on this, so that the yellow lights rather than LEDs, you got the iconic Nissan Silver V there with the grill. And then being the fact that it's just a little work truck, they have basic work wheels. And this is what the tread is looking like up here. A little, a little bit lighter. You got a little bit more tread here on the back ones, it looks like. And I don't remember if this is rear wheel drive or front wheel drive. I'll need to verify that for you. I can look it, look it up here. Um, sure, this side's locked. Oh, no, it's not. I can open it up so I can show you. We got the two seats up here in the front. And then we're going to have the storage in the back there. Let's see if I can open this one up. I can't do it one handed, though. Why is it stuck? I don't know why it's stuck. So, uh, you've only got the, you technically have the two doors, I guess. There is a door on that side, but there is currently the uh, shelves here, so you can see that. Um, they got the two sets of shelves there, and the one set of shelves on this side, which obviously can be taken out too if you don't want them. They're just bolted into the ground down here. So you can take those bolts out if you don't want the shelves in there. You got the jack on that shelf there. I don't know why that's having a hard time right there at the beginning. So I will close that here in a second when I have two hands. Um, back side here, when you open it up, you have a sweet, two swing out doors here. So this gives you a little bit more room there on that. They got a smaller half door on the left side, bigger door on the right side. And then you do have all this stuff up on top as well, the racks and whatnot you can use too. I don't personally know how to use all those racks up there. Hopefully you do. But if you don't want them, you can take those off too. And then there is the door on this side. But like I said, you are covered there with the racks. Which, I mean, hey, that actually could be a possibly a good thing. You know, you can put stuff here that you can get on this side. And you don't have to worry about crawling in through that side. So maybe that's a good thing to keep it there. I don't know. Up to you guys. Depends how you use it, I guess. Um, here inside the vehicle, this is what we're looking at. It's pretty basic. Really fast. I can show you some, some bells and whistles. By the way, this does need a windshield. I noticed this chip here, I was gonna have that fixed, and then I noticed there's this crack right along here. So we'll get a new windshield for it. Are you aware of that? So kind of going over the over the uh, bells and whistles here we have on this very basic truck here, here this van. You're gonna have two automatic windows. You got the door locks and the window locks. So if you don't want that one passenger there to open it up, he can have it locked. You have a trash control over here. You're gonna have headlight controls and brights and blinkers. Your windshield wipers are right here. Um, cruise controls on the right side, you're going to have media controls, phone controls, and AI, and then this is going to control your little, or your nice media controls as well. These are all media and phone. I was thinking this is going to control this little guy, but that's what these little buttons are for. Um, up here you have RPMs on the left, speed in the middle, and you're going to have different information on this side. The odometer reads at 103, 153, then you can change it for your different trips, and then your miles per gallon and then the average miles per gallon, and the miles to empty, back to odometer. And then it shows you your, your fuel level there, it shows that our door's open, which is that back van, so I can have that fixed up here in just a second. Then we're gonna have, this is how we're shifting into gear. You got like the low and the drive, the neutral, and then the reverse. The reverse pulls out the rear, or reverse camera, and it does have the predictive lines on there. As you turn the wheel, it's gonna show you where the van is going to be turning. And then put it back in the park. We've got hazard lights, climate controls. We've got all of the media up here. And with this being a 2020, I believe if you plug your phone in right here, you should have CarPlay with the phone, with the Apple or Android Auto pull up on this. It'll just swap that phone and turn that into CarPlay or Android Auto right there. Um, you do have the buttons on the side or it is touch screen, so you can see that. Um, there is a charging, you got the USB, you got the aux cord and you have a 12 volt charger there. You got two cup holders, a little small center console, really not much there, maybe something to put files. And then you've got the owner's manual here in the glove box. In case you have additional questions, you can always refer back to that. I believe, I want to see there's another charger or something up here. Nope. 
looking at it, there's not. Just tell there's more little additional storage there. And then light controls. So that is this little MV200. It's a great little van. And if you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully we'll see you here today to come take it for a test drive and go from there. Thanks, man. See you soon.